Hey guys, welcome back. This is Professor Hank, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about testing for errors with file streams in C++. Okay, so um, whenever you're working with files, things can go wrong, right? Just because you um, request in your code that the operating system open a file doesn't mean that the file is actually going to open, right? Just because you request that you write to a file doesn't mean the write's actually going to open. It's a request, not a command. The operating system can always say no, right? So there are um, these different bits that serve as kind of like flags that get raised uh, when certain operations happen that you perform with your um, file streams, right? If you're trying to do a read, do a write, close a file, open a file, okay? And sometimes things can go wrong or you might be denied or maybe it's not even so much that it's something that goes wrong is so much as um, something happened, right? So there are five bits that um, you can examine that'll get set in response to certain actions that your program might take when working with file streams. So these are the bits, EOF bit, fail bit, hard fail, uh, bad bit, and good bit, okay? So what each of these things do is they get set in response to certain events happening, right? So they either get set to true or false, one or zero. Okay, so end of file bit, this one right here, as you can imagine, what this does is this gets set to one. Um, if you try to do a read, for example, on a file and there's no file left to read from, and what I mean by that is, is you've done all the reads, you are at the end of the file, there's nothing more to read, you try to do a read anyway, then this thing will get set to one, get set to true. Okay, now um, the fail bit and the hard fail bit are similar but different, right? There are two different classes of failure, right? So fail bit is when you try to do some operation and it fails, right? And um, the hard fail is a bit that gets set when something even worse happens, an unrecoverable error has occurred, okay? And we'll go take a look at um, you know, a better description of these or another description of these, because at the end I'm going to take you to C++ reference iOS iOS, which has a little bit of a table that shows you, um, you know, what the bits are and, uh, you know, gives a little bit of a description of them. Okay. The uh, bad bit is set when an invalid operation um, happens. Right? And again, I'll give you a better description here at towards the end. And then good bit gets set um, if uh, all of the above uh, bits don't get set, right? So basically, if none of these happen, then this gets set. So that basically means that everything went fine. You didn't try to read past the end of a file. You didn't try to open a file that doesn't exist, for example. You didn't try to close a file that doesn't exist, uh, and so forth, right? Or maybe you didn't try to open a file for writing into a directory that uh, you don't have access to, right? Um, so good bit would get set in that case. Now you can test all of these bits by using these member functions, right? So there's the EOF function, the fail function, the bad function, and the good function. And these all return true or false based off of whether or not these bits are set to true or false or whether or not they're set to one or zero. So EOF basically just returns the state of the EOF bit. So it'll return um, true if it's set to one, false otherwise. Uh, fail bit and hard fail, depending on if either of those are set to true or false, set to one or zero, fail is going to return true or false, right? Um, bad uh, returns the state of the bad bit. If bad is set to one, set to true, then bad returns true, false otherwise, and similarly for good bit, you got uh, the good function. Okay, now there is a function called clear that can be used to reset the state of all these bits, to clear them all, to set them all back to zero, right? To, to make everything nice and fresh, okay? And so for more information, go visit, C, like I said, visit c++.com, reference iOS, iOS. And before we leave in the video, hopefully I won't forget, I'll take you there to give you, to show you the descriptions that they have for each of these guys right here. And so that way you know where to go to get some more information if you're interested in pursuing this uh, further. Oh. Let's write a program that illustrates uh, what we're talking about here. So we've got um, our fstream header file, right? That's gonna we're gonna use to give us access to uh, 
the upstream, I'll apply a while direct. We got IO stream. And then um, I'll go ahead and uh, open a file. I'll create a F stream object and um, call it F. And um, I'll create a file called output.txt and uh, we'll open it for writing. Okay, and uh, we'll just open it up in text mode. Okay, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll check to make sure that it is in fact open. Okay, and then from there I'll go ahead and uh, write to the file some information. So I'll just write a single number. So something like um, F uh, 15. Okay. And then I'll do a close and then I'll have an else down here that will print out an error. If it failed to open, fine, nothing too exciting so far. Um, but what if I want to test those bits? Okay, let's add a function that can do that. Okay, so we'll call it um, test bits, I guess. And we'll pass it an F stream object by reference. Okay, and um, we'll have that function just test each one of the bits and return true or false, right? Or display true or false, or you know, we'll just have it display the results. Okay, so void test bits, f stream, um, and we'll call this f2, I guess. Okay, and then what I can do is I can just, you know, go and test every single one of those functions or call every single one of those functions, right? So what did I have? I had uh, EOF, I had uh, the good bit, I had the fail bit, and I had the uh, bad bit, okay? So I could do something um, like this. Um, C out EOF, right? What's that gonna give me? So we'll say F dot EOF, okay? So that'll be one of them. And then uh, we'll go ahead and do that for every single bit. And then this will show us what each of those are set to. Okay, so um, good. And then this will be the bad bit. And then this will be the uh, last one will be the fail bit. Okay. Okay, so then I'll just go ahead and call test bits before I close it. Test bits, um, pass it F, and then we'll see what those um, what those bits are set to uh, after we write to the file. Okay, so you can see that end of file is set to zero, which makes sense because we weren't at the end of the file. We just wrote to the end of the file. We didn't try to do a read right after doing our write. Um, good bit was set because all the operations were fine. So you see that's the one. It returns one. Remember, one's true. Zero is false. Nothing bad happened, so we see zero for bad. And nothing failed, so we see zero for fail, right? Um, you know, and I can run this whenever I need to, right? So if I want to see if it closed, fine. If there was any problems with it closing, you know, then I can run this um, call the function a second time, right? So you can see the second time, you know, we got the good bit still set, right? And bad, fail, and end of file are all still set to zero. Okay, so we tested the state of that. My cats are attacking each other, so I'll leave them fighting each other in the background for your entertainment. Okay, now let's reopen the, um, let's reopen the, uh, the file here. So uh, we'll do uh, F uh, open output.txt and we'll open it for reading this time okay and then we'll do um, no if is open although I could have done if um, f dot um, fail right because if it failed to open then that would return true and then I could print out an appropriate error message or I could say if f dot good or whatever um, but I'll go with the if is open just to be consistent and I should probably put a semicolon there. Okay, so what we'll do is, is we'll read uh, the values. We'll try to read twice into a variable, right? So we'll say uh, f x, and then we'll print out the test bits. 
Okay. And then um, we'll do another uh, read, and then we'll do test bits again. Right. And so after we do that, the second time we call test bits down here, that should show us that the EOF uh, bit got set, right? So let me comment out these guys. So that way we don't have to look at their spam. Okay, and uh, let's run it and see what the output shows us. Okay, all right, so. Uh, so here's the result, the first four lines, the result of me calling test bits after we did our first write, or excuse me, our first read from the file. Because remember, we put 15 in the file back up here on line 13, right? And so on line 25, I'm doing a read of that and I'm grabbing that 15 back uh, from the file and putting it into X, okay? And so test bits happen, so, you know, what do we see? We see that, um, you know, we've reached the end of the file as a part of a read. Uh, everything good happened, right? You know, there was the good bit was, you know, well, there's no bad, there's no fail. The good bit, the good bit was set to fail because, you know, we got to the end of the file when we did our read. And so it's going, oh, okay, well, okay, whatever. It's everything else. This only gets set to one if everything else is set to zero, right? So, you know, is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. Maybe that's not the best way for it to behave, but that's the way it's defined in the standard, okay? Um, but so the second time when I call test bits, you can look and see that now that fail bit got set, right? We were still at the end of the file, okay? So that bit never changed, but then we did, uh, we got a fail because we tried to do a read on line 27 at the end of the file when there was nothing else to read, right? Because remember, there's only one number in the file. We successfully read it on line 25, that caused the end of file bit to get set. Um, and then, you know, since end of file bit was set, then good couldn't get set. And then, you know, there's nothing bad happened per se. I mean, bad and fail didn't uh, result, right? In, in doing a read of a, of a number that's in the file. Um, but then when we tried to do the read the second time, you know, we're still at the end of the file and uh, the, the operation uh, failed, okay? So yeah, I mean, so that's what you can do um, with those functions. You can see or get a better idea of uh, what's happened, right? By by checking um, with these functions, um, EOF, good, fail, bad, you know, you're getting a state of the stream, right? Of the file stream. And um, by doing that, it can give you maybe a little bit more insight into um, what's going on with your uh, file I.O. Okay, now I promised you that I would take you over to um, the website, so we will take a look right now. Okay, so we're back uh, at the website. And so I went to c++.com reference iOS iOS. And you can see, if you scroll down, there are those functions, right, for the different flags. And so I can go click on it, okay? And once I do that, you can see there's this little table that I was talking about, right? And so this is the good function. And this right here says, this is gonna return true if none of the streams error state flags, EOF bit, fail bit, and bad bit is set, okay? So it's not exactly the opposite of member bad, which only checks whether the bad bit is, uh, flag is set, okay? So here is a table that summarizes what all the bits are and uh, what the functions return, right? So if the good bit is set, then that means no errors, and then, you know, good's gonna return true, and then the rest of these are gonna return false, right? EOF, fail, and bad. EOF bit, right? So whenever the end of file has been reached on an input operation, good is gonna return false, EOF is gonna return true, fail, false, bad, false, and that's what we saw. Fail bit, if there's a logical error on an IO operation, good is false, EOF is false, bad is false, fail is true. And then the bad bit, if you have a reading, writing error on an input or output operation, good is false, EOF is false, fail is true, and bad is true, right? So there's a summary of each one of those. Okay, so now if we go and look at uh, the EOF function here, you can see it says, uh, this is set by all standard operations when the end of file is reached in the sequence associated with the stream, okay? Um, and then if you see fail, 
generally set by an operation when the error is related to the internal logic of the operation itself. Further operations on the stream may be possible, while a bad bit is generally set when the error involves the loss of integrity of the stream, which is likely to persist. Even if a different operation is attempted on the stream, bad bit can be checked independently by calling member function bad. Okay, so that's fail. Uh, and then bad, um, set by operations perform on the stream when error occur, concern, that occurs while read or writing data generally causes the loss of integrity of the stream. Okay, so there you go, right? So maybe a little bit better definition than what our textbook gives you, but um, you know you can use any of these functions to uh, to check the state of those uh, flags. Okay, and so here's the here's a list of them um, on C++.com. All right. Okay, so that's going to bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.